All right, all right, how you feeling? Oh, come on, you gotta be feeling better than that. All right, that's what I wanna hear. We're gonna start off with a composition that, that I wrote for the group. It's called Brown Bell Blue.
tell you, do I have to tell you how much we love being up here on stage? Or can you just see it? We love it, baby. This is our job. Oh my goodness. We do not take it for granted. We know that it is a blessing to be able to wake up in the morning and travel all around the world and share what it is that each and every one of us on this stage has dedicated our lives to doing. And we know it wouldn't be possible without people like yourselves who come out to support the music. So before we play another note, we want to sincerely thank you for being here. I'm gonna take a minute to introduce you to all the fellas in the band. On the, on the piano, originally from Hartford, Connecticut, by way of Puerto Rico, <laughs> this is my man, Zakai Curtis. <laughs> on the bass, we got a family vibe up here. This is his brother, my man, Lucas Curtis. <laughs> on the drums, firing it up. Boy, there's so much rhythm going on up here, man. All you can do is dance. All you can do is dance. I love it. This is my man also from Puerto Rico. Let's welcome Henry Cole. Oh, boy. On congas, bata, djembe, shakers, just all types of cool stuff going on over there. So soulful. Originally from Cuba. Let's welcome Eddie. Mauricio Herrera. <laughs> On the tenor saxophone, I know you know this brother here. He's been a, a, a big, I've been a big fan of his for a long time. And it's just really an honor to finally be able to get on the bandstand with him. We've known each other like 15 years. And this is really the first time that we're getting to play together. So I'm having a blast. Let's welcome the one, the only, Mr. David Sanchez. <laughs> David Sanchez! Oh boy, one trumpet. This boy has so much soul just in his tone alone. I'm a huge fan. I've got much respect for this brother. Originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. The one, the only Mr. Christian Scott. And on the vibes, I'm originally from Albany, New York. My name is Stefan Harris. Thank you. Okay, so we started off with Brown Bell Blues. This is a, that's a piece that's on our latest CD. The CD actually just came out last night. So it's brand new. So if you pick up a copy of it, you'll be the first one to have it. I told everybody that in the crowd last night too. <laughs> Okay, so the CD's called 90 Miles. We actually went to Cuba and recorded with a, a, a bunch of Cuban musicians down there to make that CD. Um, getting our chant on up here. <laughs> We're gonna continue with another song from that CD. This is a piece that we call Echa.
All right, how y'all feel with Wilmington? Wilmington, what's up? No, 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 hold on. This is the birthplace of Clifford Brown, right? You guys got a stronghold on jazz because this guy was the best. So I'm gonna ask y'all one more time. Wilmington, how y'all feeling tonight? All right, that's a little bit better. Right now, I'm gonna take this opportunity to re reintroduce you to the members of the band. Just a quick introduction because after we're done, we have to run to the train to get back to New York. So we're gonna do this now. So like you said before, from Hartford, Connecticut, a guy I've known for a very long time. We spent a lot of time together and played in a few different bands. A phenomenal talent. I think this guy is one of the best piano players in the world. Please give it up for Mr. Zakai Curtis again. <laughs> On the acoustic bass is a guy that was, uh, you see that smile, he just looked at me. We've known each other for a long time. We actually met in New Orleans when I was about, I don't know, I think I was 12 and he was 11. And uh, it's funny because he was, uh, <laughs> I have an identical twin brother, and uh, Lucas was walking up our street in our neighborhood, and he was wearing like a Pee Wee Herman type suit, you know, like the gray suit with the red tie joint, you know what I'm talking about? So he's walking up and he's so happy and everything, so we stop and we say, man, what are you doing in our neighborhood? We don't know you. He says, man, I'm in love. So I said, you're in love? Well, well what are you going to do about it? So he looks at my brother and I and says, I'm going to go and get my first kiss. So I held him down and my brother kissed him so he could never say his first kiss was a girl. And some kind of way he ended up hanging out with us a little bit. Maybe he liked my brother's kiss, I don't know. But uh, we've known each other for a very long time. We went to the Berkeley College of Music together in Boston. We were roommates. We had a really awful, dirty apartment, but some kind of way we made it out of that. And I love him very much, but this guy is a phenomenal talent. Please give it up for Mr. Lucas Curtis on the bass. On the drums. From Puerto Rico to Puerto Rican Terra, he goes 120 all day long, all set long. This cat is a bad cat. Please give it up for Mr. Henry Cole. Back here on all of the percussion from Cuba, my man, this cat is so cool. We can't walk through the airport with him. He's got his hat on, all of the ladies like him. So please give it up for Mr. Mauricio Herrera. Last but not least, these two guys, it's funny, I've been looking up to these guys since I was a, I shouldn't, they, I don't know, doesn't that make y'all feel a little older when I do that? I'm sorry. I've been looking up to these guys for a long time, but uh, this guy on the vibraphone, I think this dude is going to be a huge legend in this music. He's already a legend, but I can't wait to see what he sounds like in 50 years, because jazz is one of those musics where you can actually have a 70-year career if you live long enough. But uh, this guy is a phenomenal talent. I think he's the best vibraphone, vibraphone player in the world. I don't care who you like, he's my favorite. And, uh, but we love him very much. He hails from Albany, New York. So please get up for the legend, Mrs. Stephon Harris. Now this guy on the tenor sax, I've been running behind for many years. And I can remember when I was in school at Berkeley, he would come into Boston and all of the guys would be afraid to go and play with him because he plays so well. So the guys would run from him. I, he doesn't remember that because he wasn't with me. His, the students would run from him. But this guy is a terror on the tenor saxophone. I've never really heard anybody with so much conviction and soul in this sound. He also hails from Puerto Rico, so please give it up for a huge legend in this music, Mr. David Sanchez. The last composition that you guys heard was another one of Stefan's compositions. That one was titled, And This Too Shall Pass. And right now the band is going to continue with a song that David actually wrote about my hometown in New Orleans. This guy is, I love him so much because he wrote this song about this city and, you know, to be honest with you, New Orleans is one of those places that's sort of out of sight and out of mind so people don't really know what's going on with it. And I think the country is suffering so much right now that it's not really on the forefront of people's thoughts. So uh, we're having a really hard time still and, uh, you know, I'm really incredibly happy to actually play this music with David because he really cares about the people of the city. So if you can do something for New Orleans or you know somebody from New Orleans or anything that you can do, we still need help. There's still no school system there. It's, it's a really bad situation still, so please keep New Orleans in your hearts. But this is one that David wrote for my city and it's titled The Forgotten Ones.
thank you so much. Oh man, it's been a real, real pleasure to play again here. Uh, last time I played here, I think, I believe it was uh, 2005. And uh, it was unbelievable experience. You know, it was so great to play here. The only thing is that we got rain, rain out. It was a big, huge storm. We tried the best we could, but it was inevitable. They have to take us off stage. So yeah, that was unfortunate. But still, we had such a great time, and now it's a true blessing to be back in here. Uh, it's a great city. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. I'd like to uh, actually close with another composition of mine. This one is entitled City Sunrise. City Sunrise.
Thank you so much. We love you.